If you have questions, you can put it in the Q&A chat. I'm the program coordinator for the Young Scholar Program. This is going to be the very last session for this summer. It started a little over a month ago, and we have covered lots of topics such as Python, Java, data analysis, game development, AWS, Android app, SQL, Unix, IoT, cybersecurity, etc. We hope it may have provided you with a good background and base for you to learn more about these topics. Due to a few reasons, we had to cut back on some of the other scheduled topics, such as today, we were supposed to provide a web webinar on artificial intelligence, but we're unable to do it. Although this is going to be the last session for the summer, we have some more webinars in the autumn and winter, if you're interested. You may get a survey link on which you can provide us feedback. Based on that, we will plan out our future webinars. Now we're going to talk a little about the volunteer opportunities at HS Navigator. I hope that everyone must be aware of what HS Navigator is and what kind of data it provides. It is one of the best places on the internet to look for extracurricular activities across different universities. A good part of this application is to keep the data updated with new information. Especially around the end of the year, there are lots of new programs and new information that we need to capture for the following year. We need volunteers to grab this kind of information and update the HS Navigator system. It is a very easy task to do, but will require some time. In the process, you will learn about different universities and different programs as well that you may have not known about earlier. It is not considered uh, by any um, it is not constrained by any specific topic or field. You may gather information of programs on whatever topic that uh, may interest you. You will need to then compile this information and update that into the HS Navigator system. Um, there's a question in the Q&A chat that asks, will there be an internship certificate for the Young Scholar Program? And then, um, yes, we'll be um, talking about certificates in some time, and you'll be getting one. Okay, so going back to the volunteers, generally new information about programs comes out towards the end of the year. Colleges and universities release their plans for the following year around this time. As of now, we have information for the year of 2021, but we need to start collecting information about 2022 data this fall. If you volunteer, you will have to spend some time towards that time of the year on gathering um, information on such tasks. The good news is that HS Navigator is a registered nonprofit organization. That means that you will be getting an official volunteer hour certificate to show the hours you spend working on this volunteer work. For people who are interested in joining this, you will have to submit an application. It can be done through the link that I will be providing in chat. This link is not yet active on our website, so you are the first to know about it. And we will add, be adding this link to our website in a week or two but as of now, it is only visible to you. Any other, um, as any other initiatives, there's only a limited number of seats available. So you would wanna register as fast as possible. Okay, I just pasted the link into the chat. Okay, so there's another question. What date will the website open for us to register? So um, ba basically, even though the link is not on the website's homepage, if you click on the link that I put in the chat, you can register right now. So um, right now, only you guys can register because only you guys have the link and it will be open to everyone else in um, the next one or two weeks. So as of now, you can register whenever you want, starting from right now. So you can see the details of um, what you will need to do on the page as well. But in short, you will register on our website and then we will approve your account. And then you will be gathering information of different universities and submitting that information through a form that is on our website. Once you submit it, the administrators will review and approve your submission and then your entry will show up on our website. And let me guide you through that page as well right now.
Okay, I'm now sharing my screen, and I have this um, link copied over here, and I can go ahead and paste it on Google. And then um, it'll bring you to this website. And this website is where you're going to register for volunteering to collect the information. Um, and on the right over here is a form that you have to fill out. And on the left, there's just some details about the program with the link to the PDFs that guides you through all the steps. And um, the, that link is right here. It says you can find more details over here. And then if you click on it, it's going to take you to this um, PDF that guides you through the login process and other um, and other volunteer processes with screenshots, which you can look at later. And then over here, you can provide some basic information like first and last name, email, city, state, school name, grade, and any comments and questions if you have any. And then you can submit the form. OK, and next, we're going to be showing you how to log in into HS Navigator with your account. So if you're on the home website, over here, um, there, no, wait, I'm logged in right now. But otherwise, there would be a login button right here, as you can see. And then if you're not registered, you'd register here. Otherwise, you can enter your username and password and then log in. OK, and then next, we're going to be showing you how to add, um, add an entry. OK, so there's a question that says, for the information and data that we have to collect, is there any specific information we have to collect? And um, yeah, there's a list of specific information on this form. So um, I'm going to get into that right now. It, um, I'll cover that while I'm showing how to add an entry. So to add an entry, you're just going to click on my list over there after you've logged in. And then you're just going to make a new entry over here. And then this is uh, all the information that we need of the program that you found. Program name, description, and then a URL link to the program's website. And then we'll need a program type, which you can select from here. For example, summer program or volunteer opportunity. The, the grades that it's open to. Then the gender, boys only, girls only, or all. The fees, um, whether it's free, an award, paid program, et cetera. The program duration of how many weeks it is, the topics it covers from a very long list of um, different topics, the university, it's, the university is from, which state it's in, and then the city. And then um, this, this, uh, this is the fee. And then there's a program start date, an application start date, and an application due date. And that's all the information that we um, require. And um, one thing to note is that of this of this long list, if you can't find like one part or a couple of parts, it's fine. All the to make an entry, it's not required to add every single field of information. So you just want to add as much information as you can, but don't have to fill out every single field for each um, program. And um, for example, let's say um, we, we look at this website over here. And we want to um, add this to our HS Navigator website. So we would just open the link and go to the um, program experience, this high school program experience. And then we can find various information. For example, it's a six-week um, summer program. And it's a paid, paid um, summer program. And then you can find various dates over here, applications, summer programs and then um, different requirements over here. And based on this um, information given on the website, we're just gonna transcribe that into this um, form over here. And we can add a short description as well. And then after we're done entering everything, we can just click add. And then also, if you wanna edit an entry, you can, uh, by the way, after you add an entry, it's gonna come down over here in this list. And then if you wanna edit an entry, you're just gonna go to your list and click on modify this program right here. And then when you click it, you can um, edit the various fields up here. And then finally, you can um, delete the entry as well. If it's invalid or out of date or something like that, you can click on delete entry over here. So 
So the actual work will start around late autumn because that's when most of the information comes out. And we will send you a survey link that I talked about before to collect feedback about this program so that we can enhance it in the future. By the next two weeks, we will be issuing and sending out certificates to whoever participated in the program. Expect a certificate in your email in about two weeks. Once again, I would like to thank everyone for being with us for the past month. If you have any other questions, you can ping me in the Q&A chat here, and I'll be waiting here for a minute or two for questions. And you can still contact us at contact at hsnavigator.org if you have any questions. OK, and then once again, everyone's going to get certificate and credit for um, this um, summer program. And because we're a nonprofit um, organization, um, it'll be properly uh, recognized in an official certificate. OK, one question says, will the certificate be digital or mailed? And it's going to be digital. You'll receive the certificate in your email. It'll be in PDF form. Um, there's a question about it, what happens if you lose an account and if you can make a new account. So yes, you can make a new account. But then again, you're going to lose your um, information from the old previous account. And if you forgot your password, there's a um, forgot password option, which will send you a reset link. Um, and then there's another question if um, we have to find volunteer opportunities and add them to the website after we register. So um, if you register for the volunteering section after this um, webinar, then you'll be finding volunteer opportunities. But it's not only limited to volunteer opportunities. There will be internships, summer programs, competitions, awards, scholarships, et cetera. So you're going to find any type of um, high school, pre-college program opportunities for high school students. And then add that to the website if you register for the volunteer program. And registering for the volunteer is not mandatory but if you register for this program. It's optional. And then once again, the email. Um, someone's asking if it's going to be sent by mailbox or Gmail. So then you'll be uh, receiving it by contact at hsnavigator.org from that email address. OK, I don't see any more questions. And I just want to reiterate, we have a volunteer program that is available and open for registration. And it is also completely optional and uh, not related to the Young Scholars Summer Program. And uh, you will be receiving a digital certificate in PDF form in two weeks. OK, in conclusion, this was a great past month. And hopefully, you got the information you were looking for. And I hope we can do something like this again. Thanks, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your summer.